So following from another video where I explained the general form of using the determinant to solve uh, systems of linear equations, I'm going to apply the concept with complex coefficients. So let's say I want to find the unique solution. So again, this only applies to unique solutions. And I have this um, system. So this is my first equation. And I have complex coefficients here, um, 1 minus uh, i. Okay, x minus y equals to i. Um, what you're going to do first is to point out your coefficients. And if you don't know why I'm using these letters, please watch the end of the previous video. So my a in this case is 3, b is 2i, c is 1 minus i, d is minus 1, e is 5 plus 7, f is i. Okay, sorry, one plus. 5 plus 7i. So what you're going to do is you are going to calculate all the main values. So the main values were the discriminant, the dx, and the dy. And using these, we're going to be able to actually solve this system of equation without going through the complex process of elimination and substitution. So the determinant is always um, ad minus bc. So we have a, d, b, c. So it's going to be a, Swap the letters. So we have A, D minus B, C. So what you're going to do is you're going to take um, 3 times negative 1 minus 2i times uh, 1 minus i. Now I'm only going to solve this for the other ones. I'm just going to give you the answer. Um, so this is going to be negative 3. This is going to be negative 2i, and then negative 2i times negative i is going to be a positive 2i squared, but an i squared is just a negative, so it's a negative 1, so it's going to be a negative 2. And this is going to simplify to a negative 5 minus 2i. Um, so this is for the discriminant. For dx, what you're going to do is you're going to calculate... Um, Remember, we take this first, so um, the e and the f, and we take the y coefficients next. So we have um, b and d. And so you take e, d, minus f, b. E. And you can calculate that on your own. Let me just move these. Side. So for the for the first one, what you're going to get is a negative 3 minus 7i. And then for dy, what you're going to take is the coefficients of x. So you have a and c, and then the constants, so e and f, and again discriminant, so af minus ce. And you can solve this on your own again, and you're going to get negative 12 plus i. So using these, I can find my solution. So the solution for x is going to be dx divided by d, and the solution for y is going to be dy divided by d, using the determinants. Apologies again if I accidentally use the word discriminant. I do mean determinant throughout the whole video. Um, so dx is going to be... The x is going to be negative 3 minus 7i divided by minus 5 minus 2i. And for here, it's going to be negative 12 plus i divided by um, negative 3 minus 7i. So um, we don't leave complex numbers as such. You have to change them. So you have to multiply it by the conjugate. So, um, oops. This is still the determinant, which is negative 5 minus 2i. Um, so negative 5 plus 2i, negative 5 plus 2i. And uh, I'm going to have you expand these. Um, this whole thing is going to simplify to uh, 29 plus 29i. And uh, for this one, we're going to have a um,
we're gonna have 58 minus um, minus 29 i over 29 um, and so this is going to simplify to 1 plus i and this is going to simplify to 2 minus i um, and you can use the GDC to confirm your results so there are um, tools on the GDC where you can substitute in um, the system of equations so this is the poly the simultaneous Poly solver and um, make sure that you enter the coefficients as complex and therefore you're going to get the two solutions. So um, hopefully this is an easier way to actually solve the system of linear equations. It's just a matter of remembering these determinants and using them effectively.